quite excited. The leaves are starting to turn. How is this feeling so good? I have put the tree up. She has officially lost the pot. You will be very impressed with me. Look. I'm gonna wear it. I can't tell you what the difference is. Good morning and welcome to another week. I am starting off the week well, I hope, by heading out on a walk. This is my first walk I feels like I've been on for about a month. So I'm quite excited. The leaves are starting to turn. Everything's looking very autumnal. And I'm excited to get going. Oh, there's lots of dog walkers around. Today I'm doing lots of admin emails and then I've got a hospital appointments with the children. So it's a really quite dull day, but I will, I'm sure, take you along with me. Good morning, how are you all doing? Just got back from my run. I've managed to wash my hair. I'm loving this new shampoo that I've got. I always buy really cheap shampoos just in my supermarket order. And in fact, I'm gonna get it for you in a minute. I decided I would spend a bit of money on a shampoo, mainly because I went to the hairdressers a couple of weeks ago and when I got back, I was like, this feels amazing. And he didn't really use any product in it afterwards. And I was like, well, how is this feeling so good? Anyway, I texted him and said, oh, what, what do you actually use? What shampoo was it? So he showed it to me. Hold on, I'll get it. This one here, and this is the conditioner. I bought it on Amazon, but I'm sure you can buy it on the hairdresser, etc. Can you get on there? I don't think it likes my face, does it? There we are. There we go, there we go. It wasn't cheap, it was expensive. However, I have washed my hair about eight times now and I've only used that much. So I'm thinking cost per use might be good compared to the amount of other brands that I used. I used to use like basically half a tub of conditioner in my hair. So, so far so good, let's see how it goes. But, I find that I spend a lot of money on cosmetics, creams, but I neglect my hair. So let's see how this goes. Anyway, I wanted to show you those. You might have noticed as well, is that going to stay in focus? There you are. I'm in my comfy casuals. <laughs> There's my mirror. I have put the tree up. Yes, I know. So because I obviously create content for social media, I am being asked at the moment to, to do lots of photos with Christmas content, for example, Christmas jumpers, Christmas jump pajamas, um, they're all coming soon. And I had obviously no sparkly lights or no Christmas stuff, so kind of put it up. I know you all think I'm mad, and my husband officially thinks I've lost the plot. He's like, What are you doing? Anyway, it's not finished yet. I want to add some bows and some more lights and things like that, but I have got something so that I can use it to create my content with so that went up yesterday we've nearly finished this room i'll just pan you around so you can see hold on so we're just waiting for the curtains to go up and she messaged me this morning actually lou and hopefully the bits of the pole that are missing will hopefully come in this week and then we should be able to get those up and then get the curtains done We've got a load of people coming for dinner on Friday night, so I really want to get it all looking lovely for then. I'm thinking of moving the tree over to this window in front as well. Although I think the neighbours might be like, she has officially lost the plot. It's November. Why is there a tree up? So I'm hiding it here for now. A few things have arrived in the post that I just wanted to show you. So um, the lovely people here from... Sorry, that was my timer. I was just making my lunch. <laughs> And it went off. Anyway, I'm back. Um, so the lovely people at Bu Bufont and Blake have sent some items. So this is for my husband, actually. It's really nice. It's like a kind of textured t-shirty jumper. He has got like a wool one from them that he wears all the time. Um, but they've also sent this one for him. So he's going to have to model this got the little logo on the back there too there we are and then 
They've also sent a top for me as well, which is a bit different. I don't normally wear this. It's kind of like a rugby top. I'll just undo it for you, hold on. So I quite like this kind of color at the moment. So I think this with some skinny jeans, but it's also got a stripe on the back, which is quite cool. I don't really like to tend to wear stripy things. I feel like it makes me look bigger than I already am. So if I have it on the back, I'm hoping it won't look as bad. Obviously opened up, pair of skinny jeans maybe, some trainers even, might, might make it smarter with some boots. But I thought it was quite nice. I love the quality of their clothes. They're really nice quality. They just feel um, quite luxurious and great fabrics. They wash really well, especially the men's shirts. I really like those. Anyway, so I just wanted to show you those. I am busy today. I've got loads of admin that I've left for the last two weeks because it's obviously been half term. So I'm on catch up mode. I'm also organizing an event on Thursday evening at Hobbs in York. Um, and I've got about 20 people so far on the list. I've got a load of people that have said they were coming, but they actually need to tick and say they're coming. And I've got like a little tick ticket email that I've sent out. So I really need to get onto those people to check they are definitely coming so they've got no know how many chairs to put out and things like that so it's going to be a influencer kind of event blogger event lots of things like this happen in london all the time and i find there's not very much up here so i thought this would be a really nice opportunity for us all to get together plus we're going to be listening to a lovely lady called laura who is going to be talking about how to style some of the hobbs pieces for christmas so i'm going to be videoing bits and put it on here so you will be able to see what we do and what we get up to too and then I've got a really busy week and weekend. It's actually crazy busy. I can't even think. Today, oh no, what's going on? <laughs> Why are they flashing? I don't know how to stop the flashing lights. I'm going to have to sort that out. What's going on? They weren't doing that a minute ago, were they? Oh no, they're back. <laughs> oh dear. I need to go and have some lunch, get ready to go and pick up Matilda. We've got loads of hospital appointments to get to. So I'm going to be heading to do that this afternoon. I probably won't come back on here. Tomorrow, I've got a bit more of a relaxed day, although I've got more hospital appointments with the other child, so maybe not. And then just chasing up ready for my event on Thursday. Now it's making lights like that. But I will keep you up to date on the curtains this week. And also some tablecloths are coming for little tables. That's exciting. I'm trying to think what else is coming can't remember. Lots of things. Anyway, I'll keep you updated. Keep watching. Good morning. Um, I'm just on my walk again. You will be very impressed with me. Look, I do have my coffee in hand though too. I did really well yesterday, yesterday sorry, with my steps. I went out again when my husband got back from work. He didn't get back till about 9.30, but we still went out for a walk, which is good. So I'm just heading along here. It's very quiet today. Normally I see lots of dog walkers, but I'm out much earlier than normal. I need to get on today. I've got so much work to do. So I'm heading out, doing these steps, getting my head cleared. I might do a walking meditation, which I really quite like. I found this new app now that I've been using and it's um, really good. I can't believe there's like, normally you see all the usual dog walkers, but I'm so early today. Anyway, so today, and then I'm heading into Leeds. I've got another doctor's appointment with another child. Uh, and, and yeah, I'm just crazy busy getting ready for my event on Thursday, which I'm very excited about. We've got quite a lot of people coming and lots of new people that I haven't met. So I'm really excited to meet them and obviously get to know them. They're all sort of locally bloggers around Yorkshire. All have some sort of Instagram account and some of them write blogs too. So it'd be really nice to actually meet them in real life. Anyway, I'm gonna get on with my walk. So I will speak to you later. Good morning, um, it's actually nearly the afternoon. I'm about to head out to go to meet the manager of the York branch of Hobbs. So I'm doing an event there tomorrow evening. I've spoken about this before on here and we're going to meet Laura, go through the event, work out where everyone's sitting and talk about what she's gonna be talking about on the night. So I'm very excited. So I'm heading into York in a minute, but I wanted to show you my outfit that I'm wearing today. So I have got on a polar neck type jumper look at the gold detail if i get out of the picture it might focus on it there we are really beautiful 
and then so it's just like a, it's quite a fine knit so it's a hobs top and then this is a hob skirt if i go right back here i'm hoping you might be able to see it's like a leopard print skirt so i'm going to wear it with these heels they're absolutely stunning so if we let me find the name of them so i can actually tell you what they're called elder l elder e l i d a ankle boots how absolutely stunning are these they're gorgeous so i'm going to pair that with that today wear a black coat with it trying to look as smart as i can i've also been sent this beautiful dress which i think i'm going to wear tomorrow night so this is from like almost a like christmas kind of stuff i'm going to unbutton it if i just show you now down but it's almost like an a-line velvet dress they've got some gorgeous dresses in if you are not like me and you don't have a tummy you will love there's a velvet red one that's absolutely stunning blooming nikki has worn it in one of her instagram posts and she looks amazing so it's v-neck cut here and then you almost have to have the flattest stomach ever in order to wear it i almost need a more of a floaty style so it doesn't really work for me but i'm hoping this will look fantastic so it's kind of like an a-line dress and will go goes out like that quite plain but you could jazz it up with some beautiful jewelry as well i love the sleeve detail and this kind of maroon color it's really nice i love it so that uh, i've got i think i'm going to wear this tomorrow night and then also this dress here which i think would be a great christmasy sort of dress it is a um it's got stars can you see there with the maroon colour coming through. Again, I would unbutton it because I'm not very good with high necks, apart from obviously polar neck type jumpers like this. I tend not to wear round necks. So I would just unbutton this. I'm not doing this very well one-handed. There we are. So you can see, there you go. And it's quite a long floaty dress. The pattern continues down, you've got the line here but there's quite a lot of fabric here, which always works quite well for me. So tomorrow I'm gonna to try on this one and the maroon one and see which one looks better for the event. But I love the sleeves, they're quite sheer. Can you see there? Really, really nice. So I'm very excited to be trying on these pieces. And other news, I don't know what the other news is. Basically I'm working towards this Hobbs event, I'm trying to round up people who said they were coming. Now I'm not sure. So I'm just trying to get an idea of final numbers. And then tomorrow I've got a really manic day. Lou's coming to fit the curtains. So I'm so excited. Tonight I'm going to have to get my husband to drill up the last few poles. <gasps> I need to go and pick up the poles. I need to go. I need to go. <laughs> but I'm going. back through the museum gardens we had a really lovely meeting and it was so nice to get everyone together and actually have a chat about what's going to happen tomorrow um so i am so excited and i will fill you more in tomorrow 
So today we have Lou who has come from Lou Thread and she is about to put up the curtains. Here they are here. They're all laid out on the floor just here. I cannot wait to see them going up. There they are, they're going up now. So on the inside, I've got a striped kind of lining and then a fan edge and then it's plain on the inside. Oh my gosh, they already look amazing. It makes such a difference, isn't it? Such, oh, it looks great. Wow. I can't believe the difference. Wow. I love it. They're great. Oh, I like how that picture's done with it. Oh, how they come out. Yeah. yeah. So I had them done with, I had a picture frame. And so this is a print, this one. And I had it done as a present, but it oh, comes yeah. out. Yes. And so then I've had yeah. all these ones done the same. Yeah. It's called floating, I think. Okay. But I really like it. Yeah. yeah. And they, they slide along the pole nicely. Oh, wow. So do I have to do that all the time? No. That's it that's now? That's it. Yeah. That's, that's great. It. So what's it called? It's just a... Oh, oh. It's just a silicon spray, so you can just go... No, I see. Great. I didn't even know that existed. Mm. That's really good. So Lou has just gone, and I want to show you the curtains in more detail because... I cannot tell you what a difference it makes to the room. Can you see there? If I try and focus that. There we go. Like, oh, if I get my face out of it. I cannot believe, like, the way the room looks. It makes it feel so cosy and so warm. And do you know what? The difference of having curtains that are actually well made, I cannot tell you. I sort of live in a world where lots of people I know will have curtains with the ring eyelets or just really badly made curtains and this is the first time I think I've ever had proper curtains made and they are stunning they're so good they make such a difference so they're all hand sewn I've added on a Susie Watson trimming which I'll show you and then on the inside of the fabric I've actually got a stripe which a lot of people think well that's a bit pointless but I've kept it quite neutral because I wanted to change up my cushions basically so if I turn this around I'll be able to show you hold on so here we go so this is the curtain here so first of all I absolutely love the poles they are stunning poles make a massive difference and before what I've done is I've gone in and bought sort of you know standard poles go up and these are like chunky they're really really nice they feel amazing so you can have these painted you can have them in different stains so i've gone for quite neutral here um because i didn't really know how the room was going to end up looking and most of it is pretty neutral but i think it works quite well i love the ends how stunning are they so you, again you can have different ends which is great so here are the tops of the curtains and Aren't they beautiful? I think it makes a massive difference how the pleats are done. It's just like really, really lovely. So she's used a really nice interlining, so they're quite thick. And inside here we've got a lining. Can you see there? So this is actually my Floor & Co fabric. And I just wanted it on the back. So I could have just had plain lining, but actually I think it's really nice because you can see bits of it from on the on the other insides and as you walk in you can see the little bit here and i just think it just adds that little bit of difference to it she's put her tag up here so they are around can you see there let me try and focus that on there for you oh there we go so I will put obviously a link to Lou below. If you're not local to me and you're not in Yorkshire, she can actually do them from wherever and she can show you how to measure and then you she can measure them for you. Uh, you can provide your own fabric if you've got it, which is kind of what I've done here. Or she has fabric books, so you can go in and look at the fabric. Or if you know a particular fabric, she can order it in. Um, she's got accounts with lots of different companies, so it's definitely worth messaging her. They're really thick. The weight of them, I love. 
they just feel like really good quality and i also went for an option of having it falling to the floor and then falling down i just love that kind of heaviness and that richness and they really do feel heavy and rich they're absolutely stunning that's just oh look at that like literally beautiful i think the fan edge is really lovely touch too so in Susie watson they have different edges i was going to go for a kind of a pom-pom and i was going to have a color but i've kept it neutral because i've gone a bit bold with my cushions so these are the more neutral ones so here i have sarah hardacre who i love i love sarah if you don't know sarah's fabrics then you need to go and check her out she has the most gorgeous prints and i've always been a massive fan i know her in real life and she's just a really lovely person so i wanted to have her featured somewhere in here i've then got all these different prints too here we go i love these and i will be putting these on my instagram and tagging them all i've then gone for quite bold ones here so this chair is obviously going to go but how stunning are these so i want to incorporate more of this onto the sofa here and i just think i need more prints and more cushions so it's just a bit different a bit wacky this is a zoe glencoff cross sorry um and again i love the tassels and the different edges this i love the piping how beautiful is that the quality of lou's work is amazing it's really really good and the ladies that work with her are amazing too um if i just show you over here so you can see the next curtain so that is it going all the way down again it falls to the floor i've got the poles with the ends there i mean just how stunning is that Oh, I can't tell you how pleased I am. I literally am so excited. And it really brings the room together and makes it feel really warm. I mean, if I'd have just gone and got, I don't know, a normal standard curtain, like not made to measure or anything like that, it would not look like this. And the quality would not feel as heavy and thick. It just wouldn't work. And I've, I've done that for years and years and years. And finally, I've invested in some beautiful curtains that I will be able to keep up here forever. I just love it. And the last curtain is over here. So we had a bit of a problem when that this one couldn't have the ends like they are over there. Uh, because obviously we've got the walls in between. But it doesn't really matter. Because my husband's put them on the brass of brackets at the end there. So you can't really notice on there. And I just love it. I think they're really, really nice. I wonder what they look like from the outside. Let's just look. Oh, so nice. The quality. Oh, I I'm going to need to stop going on about it. But literally, look at that. And they're all hand stitched as well, which I just think is really good. You know, you just don't really get this these days. It makes a massive difference in this room. Look, I'm so pleased with it. I think I might do some photos now before it gets dark and just get a really nice feel for the room. I just love the curtains. It's so cosy in here. It feels amazing. Now we need to get a little fire in there. And then I think, apart from the cushion situation, two chairs here. I've got a two little tables coming, a lamp. We're nearly there. I'm nearly, nearly finished in this room and I'm so pleased. I love it. How beautiful. Good evening, I'm just heading out to my event at Hobbs. I wanted to just show you my dress before I left. So this is one from their new collection at the moment. It's on the website. It's an A-line dress, so it's really comfy to wear. And I've got it on, can you see back here, with my absolutely stunning boots. I love them. I love the heel on them, they're so nice. So I put them in black opaque tights and then I've got black bag because we're moving around lots um, trying to help Laura do the demonstration and the demonstration, the talk, I should say. We have a model coming, so I'm really, really excited. Um, anyway, better get there and get set up. So we've arrived in York. We're just walking along the river to get to Hobbs because they closed this up, the museum gardens. And we are heading there now just to set up. It looks very nice and calm. It's like a calm evening. Very nice, isn't it? At least it's not raining. Can you imagine that? That would be not good. 
a disaster. So we are just setting up here. Nora has got different pieces here. So this is kind of like the everyday selection of clothes here. And then this is the more... <laughs> it's all right. I was just saying, this is a... Here she is. No, go in it. I'm just doing a background like chat. Here she is. This is the star of the show. She's Hello. going to be doing the talk this evening and she's going to be talking about this is all the sort of evening wear and this is more casual wear and we're going to be talking about how we can combine the two but I just want to show you quickly some of the different outfits here. So we've got lots of this sparkle, this suit which is lovely. Uh, the dress that I've got on, here we are. Oh, lovely, that is really nice. And this, which is new, that's just come in, I love that. to COVID. That's one good thing that came out of COVID is that we can reach people all over the world. So I've been lucky enough to style people in Taiwan and Portugal um, and Ireland and Scotland. So, it, you know, it's um, I'm really, really grateful. Have you ever wondered how do people keep their jumpers tucked in nice and neatly? So the answer is you add a little skinny belt underneath and you tuck right in, sorry. Mm -hmm. You pop that over your skirt or your trousers and then you just tuck your jumper under the belt like that. And it looks like you've tucked your jumper into the skirt. Show off the boot underneath. Turn them up twice, just two little turn ups like that. Really helps to just l make it look like you've thought about all of the little details in your outfit. Going for a straight leg over a skinny helps to create balance and then a little turn up as well also balances any proportions. The backbone of your wardrobe that you can always rely on to help you to wear any kind of more impulse purchases in different ways. Looks and feels like Christmas, doesn't it? Especially in this amazing colour. It's like an old gold. It's so rich and it looks so expensive. It's stunning. The camel coat over the top leather trousers or your jeans um it's just lovely and warm and cozy and i think that's going to suit most people and then this one here is just a little subtle bit of christmas red a little bit of sparkle going through it good morning excuse the face i think i've still got last night's makeup on <laughs> i feel like i've um like been out on a really heavy night out i went to bed about one we didn't get back that late but I, I sat trying to sort through all my photos sort out my posts and things like that and then i was like oh my gosh it's the time's gone anyway we had an amazing evening i'm absolutely shattered and tonight we've got a dinner party tomorrow night we're out so i really feel like i'm running a bit of a marathon at the moment so <laughs> bear with me today might not be the most interesting day because i'm shattered basically the it went really well um so laura did an amazing talk hopefully you've seen clips before this all about to start how to start some of the pieces for cobs um so she picked out some key pieces that she really liked for the kind of christmas season they've got some really lovely stuff in lots of velvet lots of sequins we've got a really nice pleated silver skirt with an elastic band waist so it was really good fun. I bought some jewellery. I wanted a necklace that kind of went lower and I wanted some earrings that dangled down so I can wear that this weekend, hopefully. But yeah, it was just a really lovely evening. Lots of people came that I already know. So I've got my coffee. I want to have my nails done. Can you see that? I get out of the picture, you might be able to see it. Everybody loved them yesterday. Uh, I don't know if you can see. Oh. Um, yeah, everyone um, loved them yesterday and made loads of comments. Okay. I don't know how long they'll last that out, but anyway. I'm just, oh, my, my dog walked. I thought I heard someone. I think people think I'm really weird along here because I just literally talked to my face. Yes, yeah, so it was a really great event. 
I got to meet some new people that I haven't met before. So we had quite a few Leeds bloggers that came and then some York based ones, which was really nice. Some of them were quite young, so I felt really old, but it was quite nice to meet them because they've obviously got different fresh ideas. Um, so it was really nice to meet those that, that group of people. And then there were people like Shelley Loves. So Shelley came and I followed her for like years and she came with her mum and she was just like, amazing she was so cool and uh, very like trendy obviously and she's just been really really chatty and really nice and her mum was lovely uh, so they were like loving the talk from the hob from hobbs and from laura and they love looking around and they'd like make a day of it going out in new york so it was really good so lots of people bought their mums which was great um so that was really good fun to actually meet people in real life so i'm really pleased that she came so thank you shelly if you're watching this it's really nice when you get support from like big blogger people and she works with some amazing brands as well so i was just like that's really kind of her to come um so yeah so we so that was great <laughs> uh, she would be such a laugh on my out i think but anyway so that was good and then yeah we we packed it all up people were trying stuff on those people bought outfits it was yeah it was quite a really fun evening it's something that i've never really done before i've always sort of done events where we have talks and the network we didn't i've never really done a like let's try on and see what outfits work and then we we're on the changing rooms and you know yeah, yeah that would be better with the skirt and stuff so that was quite cool so uh, <laughs> it was really fun anyway Today I am catching up with a friend who I've not seen who had her big 4 birthday. So I'm going to catch up with her and then try and shoot some content because I'm so behind on, I've got so much stuff that I need to sort. And then I'm going to be getting ready for this dinner party. We're doing a cheese and wine dinner party, which I thought would be easy, but now I'm thinking I've not got enough cheese and the fridge stinks. just been doing some photographs um, of this dress um, so this is an Aurelie address can you I don't think this is a very good angle actually can you actually you probably won't be able to see me hold on if I go maybe by the window let me go over here and see so it's got a oh, little elastic on the bottom there so you could move the sleeves up if you wanted to have them more like this a really comfy relaxed dress so like you could eat lots it's quite a good christmas day dress actually um oh my gosh i think that's the mop falling over don't worry i have not been mopping um so i just wanted to show you here can you see i feel like i need to move this back hold on oh you can see my gorgeous cushion check this out oh, how gorgeous is that ah oh, love it I want some more really on here. I've got two darker cushions. This one's a bit jazzy, but I quite like having the jazziness. So I'm thinking more of this. I love that. I think that's gorgeous. I think this is, I think maybe that's Lewis and Wood. I think I need to get this right before I tell people. I forget, I get them all muddled up. Um, right, so let me put these shoes on. I also got some uh, jewelry last night when I went to the Hops event. I picked up these earrings. Can you see them? So I love my pearls. Um, I'm always wearing pearls. And I also picked up this um, necklace as well. So let me just pull this up a bit. I think I need a little vest or a little cami under there. So I got this as well. I don't really have any dangly gold necklaces. So I thought this would work quite well with this dress. If I pull this down a bit like this. Get my sleeves right. Let me go over there and see if you can see my feet. Hoping you'll be able to see. Oh, maybe not. Let's move the chair now. Hold on, it's like musical chairs here, isn't it? There we are. So, you should be able to see there, The it's, it's a lot of fabric in the bottom here. She does do a shorter one, which actually I think would have worked quite well as well. Comes in kind of like rusty red color as well. But I quite like this blue, so if I, Try and stand nice and straight so you can actually see it on. It's more like, like it's just a quite relaxed, smart, but also could be casual dress. I really like it. Yeah, 
really, I think it's really works really well. So I've just been doing some uh, photos for content um, for this month. Well, not really, I haven't really actually managed to get that done. I've done about three different content photos, one of which is a calendar from Paper Chase. I'm gonna show you that now. So my girls have just discovered Paper Chase and I don't really know why I took them in there, to be honest. As a child, I used to love Paper Chase and now they are obsessed and it's really expensive, but they do do really good deals. I signed up for their membership thing. So every time I go in now, I seem to get money off, which is great. So they have to have pocket money. They've got a go home recard and they have to spend their own money in there, which I think is quite good. So they really have to think about what they want and what they need for school. Uh, but I'm working with Paper Chase. I've been sent this calendar. Um, it's quite cool. I haven't showed them yet. They're gonna they're gonna fight over it. I think they need to get another one. So inside you've got lots of different doors, obviously. It's a calendar. I've just opened some up. Don't tell them. I think I'm gonna have to glue them back down. So inside there's things like this notebook. Oh, hold on a minute. I've just had it all out. I don't know why I didn't just show you them. There we go. Let me get out of the picture. You might be able to focus on that. No, nope. there we are. So they're quite nice products um what else have we got a little to do let's do this so it's quite cool um pens little notebooks what's this push pins don't know what that is but that looks they like that basically there's loads of different things that's another notebook there what's in here oh these are quite cool highlighters they apparently they they eat highlighters because we never seem to have any and we always have to buy loads of highlighters so that's great so there's loads of stuff so i think they're going to love this for their calendar as i said i think i'm going to have to get one i think i might give this to phoebe and then try and get another one for matilda i have got a code for this though which i will put on the screen on the comments on the whatever it's called below so if you would like to go and buy one you can get money off which is great because that's what I'm going to need to do. I think it's great, a really good calendar. I'm not really up for all these calendars. I think they're a bit of a, I don't know, I feel like sometimes it's a lot of money spent, especially my white company one, the one that my husband bought for the first time ever. Please note, he's never ever done anything like that before. I'm not quite sure if he's ill or something, I'm not sure what's going on but I'm very grateful for it. So they bought me a white company calendar and we normally just have chocolate ones. However, peer pressure and all that, the kids were always like, oh, we want this one. I'm like, no. Uh, and then I'll wait until they go in the sale. And then I won't get them. But no, they haven't really ever had a calendar like this. So I'm quite excited. I think they're gonna love it. Especially, as I say, because they love Paper Chase. So that is a rather good buy. Um, I will put, yeah, the code will go below if you would like one. Uh, otherwise, I think I've got quite a few nice bits to show you, but I might end up doing it next week. I'm in London next week, Monday and probably Tuesday. I've got some events and things going on. I'm going to catch up with some family. So it's a bit of a busy one. Yeah, it's really busy. I just feel like I'm busy. And today I went out to try and sort out the garage and I was like, do you know what? I just don't have time to do this. And I would just like a day of sorting the garage out and not having to think, oh, I've got no time to actually do it. So this room is looking so nice. I'm so pleased with it. We have got a load of people coming for dinner tonight. I can't wait to show them. And then hopefully we will get more of the rest of the house done slowly now. We've got the boot room to do, we've got a shower to do, we have got, I think the hallway all needs painting, the, gar the patio, like balcony thing we've got needs sorting out. We're nearly there though, and I never thought we would get this far. A friend came over this morning and I showed her a video of what it looked like when we moved in. And it just looks like a completely different house. She was like, I cannot believe how different it looks. And she she's um, like medical, so like doesn't really, she loves interiors, but not inclined to think about interiors. And she was like, when you told me you wanted to move the, the kitchen in there and then the lounge here, I was just like, what are you doing? What? How does that work? 
and she was like it just looks so good so that it makes you really happy when you have friends that are just like wow what a difference and i think when you see it in real life because obviously on on social media i only ever show the best bits obviously on here though i tend to show you not the best bits but you really get a feel of, like she could see the difference so it was really nice to show her what we've done Anyway, I need to go do the school run and get ready for this dinner party, which I still have no dessert. And I was thinking maybe I should make one, but I don't have anything to make. And so I sort of sent a message to my husband going, do you think you should get something on the way home from home, from work? So I'm not really sure what we're gonna do. We've got about eight people coming. I don't know why, I think I forgot to do a dessert. I don't really know what I was thinking. These lights on the tree are a bit flashy. It means <laughs> I'm like flashing up. Anyway, I'm sure we'll catch up later on. I'll show you my cheese spread with my wine. In fact, wine, I must get more wine. I've better go, I've got this to do. Good evening, everybody. We are having people over for dinner. So we've just been doing this. I've never done one of these before, but it's actually quite a mission to do. <laughs> I'm really hard work. It took about, I'm not joking, half an hour or so. So we've got some baked camembert, which we're gonna put on here in this space. But I think it's hopefully looking really good. We've got about eight people coming for dinner. Um, and then James is just cooking the camembert now. Got all the bread to go in the oven. Good evening. Um, I've just showed you in there, but I wanted to show you in here. I think our guests are gonna be a bit shocked by the Christmas tree. Anyway, I've got on this dress and it is a Hobbs dress. It's really lovely. So I've just undone the top bit here, but it's got stars on, which I thought was quite Christmassy. I will just pan around the room so you can just see it and how it'll tidy it is. Everyone's arriving now. Time of the year, no, you got people falling in love. It brings you good cheer now when the mistletoe is above. Can you sign no driving the sleigh? Good evening. Um, I am off out again. Uh, I've had the most random busy hectic day hardly had any sleep so i'm absolutely exhausted but we are off out to a 40th tonight um i've got the dress on but i've got it on in the shorter version the one that i showed you the other day can you see that so i've actually got my legs out i really love the fabric it's very luxurious it's really really nice i'm gonna go and show the video show you the outfit in the other room i'm gonna get uh, my husband to hold the camera so you can actually see what it looks like um, but yeah, really like it. I'm so hot. We cleared the dinner party off there. There was so much cheese. I've eaten way too much cheese. Definitely on Monday, I'm starting my being good diet again. Yeah. Uh, so I have got the dress on and I just wanted to show you. So it's the shorter version. This also comes in red too. If you use the code simply Caroline, you can get 15% off anything on the Orally website. Uh, we are off now out to a 40th. Do you want to have some photos together? Yeah. No. got away. Kevin's alone, not acting afraid. Never get away Christmas, but today.